This video is going to be about the throttle body from this Peugeot 107. When the engine is idling, the throttle should be open 13.3%. However, we've got here some drops in signal, as you can see. Now, why we see this can be for many reasons. Obviously, the throttle opening should go in parallel with the increase in airflow rate or the engine RPM. First, we've got with the purple line, the throttle opening then immediately after that with blue line we've got the airflow rate increase and that's perfectly fine and let's see how to remove and clean the throttle body now there are two other cars with the same engine it's a citroen c1 and toyota aigo and i think on one of them you've got the wire throttle body which has only a position sensor on, on the throttle body so this one is electric actuated Let's unplug this. We want to see what are the voltage values. Then you can compare the values at home on your car and see if there is something wrong. Let's make sure we've got a good connection in here on the negative side. So let's turn on the ignition. Okay, so these pins are actually numbered here. Pin number one, nothing. Pin number two, nothing. Pin number three, five volts. Pin number four, 4.4 4 volts. Pin number five, nothing and pin number six nothing that's pretty strange because we don't have we don't have the 12 volts okay so this is a water cooled throttle body we've got four 10 millimeter around okay the bolts are out and there's a bracket back here which holds these coolant hoses and that will allow me to take a little bit further this throttle body so i can give it a nice clean here okay so the gasket looks in good condition now a lot of you guys told me that you should not press on the throttle body flap because it will mess with the calibration but I'm gonna show you the live data after I clean it and you're gonna see that it's gonna be the same. If I remember correctly it was 11.8 and let's plug in the connector. Let's connect the scan tool again. Here we go, we've got 16.5. Once I press it all the way, 85.5, I release it 11.8%. For example, now when the throttle body is connected, you definitely do not want to press on the flap because you are pressing against the motor, which is energized. And this is the only moment when you don't want to press on the flap. But once you disconnect the throttle body, you can move the flap without any problems. And if the throttle body is in good condition, nothing will happen. It's also a good idea to watch the throttle body flap moving when you press on the acceleration pedal because it's also possible that the throttle position sensor will register a movement but the flap will not move. You can also test the voltage. We've got here the red wire in the middle on top here. This is going to be the position sensor signal. So on the connector we've got the bottom left wire, this is going to be the one which will move the motor. Then we've got the right top wire, kind of white wire, this is going to be for the second position sensor because this throttle body will have two position sensors. Okay, so now it's time to reinstall this back. Then you can install a new gasket or just reuse the old one. Hopefully this video is going to be helpful in your situation to diagnose the problem. As always, drive safe. Take care and I will see you in the next video.